Unless you've been living under a rock or you just don't have Peacock, you've probably seen clips of the new TED TV show. Some of our most asked comments are, who is the kid that plays John Bennett? Well, his name is Max Burkholder and he's a tremendous actor. Like I said before, he is the teenage version of John Bennett who was played by Mark Wahlberg in the two original movies. Max Burkholder was asked on New York Live where the state of the characters were at this time in their friendship and this is what he had to say. I think in the movies we see them and John is just like so far gone. Both of them are degenerates. They're still degenerates in this show and they're stupid, yeah. but the corruption of John by Ted hasn't fully taken place right. yet. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. It's just the beginning of their degeneracy. Yeah, there's like time to put spin on this ball, but nobody <laughs> really does. People are also very confused about Ted's voice. See, some people don't realize that Seth MacFarlane is the writer of Ted. He's also the writer of Family Guy, and he does a ton of voices. Uh, I'm gonna start by shoplifting from Wetzel's Pretzels. <laughs> Wetzel's pretzels. I'm gonna shoplift from Wetzel's pretzels. Cause like, what are they gonna do? Like jump over the counter and kill me for a pretzel? I wanna travel more cause uh, I've been meaning to visit your mother's bedroom. <laughs> The craziest thing to me about this whole thing is this is not the first time Max Burkholder has been on set with Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, I probably started doing voices at Family Guy when I was about uh, five or six. Really? Way too young to be hearing <laughs> or saying <laughs> any of the things that I was hearing or saying. And because I was like a kid who was around the Family Guy offices, That's funny. at the first table read of the first Ted movie, I was playing the creepy little kid character. <laughs> uh, so it's kind oh my of, god, that's right! That? No, you no, no. Yeah. This is this is what's and this is gonna be. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> I I I didn't remember when Max came to do Orville yep. that he had done uh, Family Guy, yeah. and then when he came to do Ted. <laughs> I saw the audition. I was like, "This guy is great." You didn't remember so that. Like, I'm, yeah. the, I'm the real life version of like Simpson, eh? A lot of people are hating on Seth MacFarlane for not really remembering who Max Burkholder is, but you got to remember, he came on set when he was five years old. He probably looks a lot different now than he did when he was doing voices for the show. He was also asked why he would create a TV show instead of making a third movie because of how well the two other movies performed. That's that's one of the things I love the most about TV. I love film, but as a writer, TV is is really where it's at because, for exactly that reason. That if you screw up once, there's always <laughs> next week. But yeah, you don't have to tell a story that encompasses everything. You can kind of dig into one particular topic or one particular idea and 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 just have fun with that for that week. Even though John is not fully corrupted by Ted yet, they still do get into quite a bit of mischief. In this scene, Ted and John are prank calling their bully because they just had enough of his nonsense. Johnny told Ted that Clive does not know his father, so Ted rolled with that and prank called the bully as the father. When Ted is questioned by Clive why he hasn't been there as a father, Ted tells him that he's been battling in the war. Clive gets really emotional thinking this is his actual dad and would really like to meet him and Ted and Johnny set him up to go to a diner dressed in a sailor suit to make himself look like a fool. That Ted and Johnny are always getting into something. Just like the movies, this TV show has a ton of controversy behind it, including the scene of them in church on Christmas Day. Been blessed by such a miracle. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, you're talking about a guy who came alive out of nowhere, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, me. I'm sorry? I I'm just saying he's not the only one. The birth of Christ was a heavenly miracle. Well, I mean, what do you call this? Jesus had a divine purpose to spread the word that he loves us. I love you. Your move, Friar Tuck. I just want to finish the sermon. I'm just saying I might be Jesus. I might. I'm not saying for sure. I'm just saying it's a possibility. I, I, I might be Jesus. That is incredibly disrespectful. There are two different types of people out there going head to head about this scene because some people find it very disrespectful and other people just find it hilarious. Whether you like it or not, this new TED TV show is probably going to have a second season. So if you guys don't have Peacock now, I highly recommend getting it.